right, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sure. Um, why did your songs change a little bit? F uh, to me, your songs changed from ghetto music yeah. earlier on to African music now. I think your last album, Survival, was an African uh, album. Well, try wherever there is oppression and suffering people, the masses of the people, wherever is called a ghetto. As you know, Africa is a mass of people that go to international oppression, you know. So it's ghetto music all the way. But, you know, it's for everyone, not for anyone special. It's, this, this message is for everyone. But even if um, the people in the West see the justice, that should be handed down to the people in Africa. Then whoever, how the justice come, whoever he is, then justice is justice. You know? And <laughs> music don't change. In your songs, you often refer to the Bible, but many of the young people who are coming to your concert yeah. don't believe in the Bible anymore. Because the way they've been taught about the Bible, that is not the way of the Bible. You know what I mean? Because if I was living in that world, where the everyday interpretation of the Bible go on, then I would have eat the Bible too. But now that we have found the right way of the Bible, then the Bible is to be loved because the Bible is a record of man creation. It's the only book tell you it's the only book can make can show you where mankind begin without any prejudice or any, any, anything like that, any boastiness, pride or anything. It just have how it go, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, all the Christian people, not even the Christian, all the, all the people who go to churches interpret the Bible and the preachers them. That is not the right way. Because the greatest thing is that life. See? It's life. Life I deal with. If the preacher read the Bible and tell you that you have to die to go to heaven, then he's not, not reading the Bible. Because the Bible tells you, you have to live in a heaven. You don't die and go to heaven, you have to live in heaven. You know, a lot of places on earth could be. But Africa is our heaven, because that's where we come from. You know, maybe if it's a Swiss, maybe if you're from Switzerland and the people know God, then maybe you could have live in peace, unity, harmony, you know, you know. But you know, people are stubborn and desert because of material vanity. How big is the influence of the rest of the communities in Jamaican culture and politics today? And perhaps you can give some examples. Well, you know, as Rasta, we're dealing with not politics, but our own tradition cre from creation, from the root of mankind. So we as Rasta now, we return to our roots, which is God. You know, mm -hmm. so, and as you know, politics is, politics is, mean to, politics divide and rule. Politics don't show people God. Politics tell you that Somebody can do something fair, you know. What we know is God, I do everything. So the best man for deal with is God. When you deal with God, you don't deal with politics because politics divide and rule. You fight now for many, many years. Huh? You fight now for Oh, we got many, millions yeah. of years yeah. to live after the fight over man because the greatest thing is to fight for life.